this morning, threats came in on Miguel Aguirre's life. I thought the feds were handling that. Yeah, well, they specifically requested us to move him to county and keep him on a 24-hour watch. Go, go, go! <laughs> Boom. What the hell is going on? What's happening? All right, we got two rag guns. Five blocks, extra clip. There's some tear gas, some knives, and every co-ed's favorite, pepper spray. So is this all we got? This is a jailhouse, not a police armory. We just gotta make sure every shot counts. Oh, no! oh, no! oh, doing anything! You seen these things before? My abuelo used to trade with the settlers. One day he came to them, and the entire settlement was dead. They had all the blood taken from them. Vampiros del Cielo, he called them. The vampires from the sky. They're here for blood. Come on! You know what, man? It's funny, man. Life's funny. I thought I was the monster. Welcome to the Galaxy Theatre in Las Vegas. Yes, we are in Las Vegas. It's absolutely fabulous. This is the premiere of the new movie coming out, and this is what we're going to see. It's absolutely going to be fabulous. It's the attack of the unknown. And How are you? I'm good. Yeah, are you good? Yeah, what's your name? Well, I'm going to ask you what your name is, too. My name is Ninon de Verde Hello, Rosa. Nina. And pleasure. your first name? Robert. Well, I have Robert with me, and, and you are a very famous actor, right? So I've been told. Yeah, in we're a little birdie. In, in certain circles. <laughs> it's always in certain circles, isn't it? If you, if you ever leave that circle, you're completely out, and nobody, they look at you, or oh, who are you? You know, it's like... Yeah, it's all relative. It's all, who cares? It's the sound of one hand you know clapping. Something? You know something? You heard the sound of one hand I'm clapping? Nothing. It's a That's joke, nothing. never mind. No, 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 no. If one hand clapping means there's no noise. Thank you. <laughs> I got it. Did That's, I get that's it? the movie industry. Oh, don't tell me about that. Uh, you're right. <laughs> so how's it going for you? What's, what's going it's on? wonderful. I woke up today. I, all my limbs I know. Look at you. You've, you've got everything. I'm Are you not sure? On fire? Are you sure? I'm not on fire. I'm on fire. No right. No standing next no to you. No one's shooting. Oh, no, you're standing sweet. next to you. I'm on you're fire. Sweet. I'm on fire. No, but you look, you're a, you look a very gentle man. Well, you know, it's, uh, I've been practicing a long time. <laughs> I think he's trying to tell me his age, and he can't do that, and you know why he can't do that, because I've he looks very, very young. <laughs> I've been practicing. So, how's the movie industry going for you? For me, uh, by grace of the Michael Mahal and Sonny Mahal, I've been afforded quite the, uh, quite the resume lately. So and, and who just quite, walked on? Quite busy. And who just walked on? Tara Reid just walked on. I interviewed you about a year and a half ago. Yes, you did, and you were very kind. You're very sweet. She's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. He's my new husband. I'm a bodyguard. I'm a bodyguard. <laughs> I, I might never find the answer, but who wants the answer anyway, as long as you two are having fun? Absolutely. How are you? Fantastic. How are you enjoying this movie? We had a great time. We had a lot of fun, yeah. And uh, he's the best actor that I've ever worked with, so... It makes, a, it makes a big difference, doesn't it, who you're working with. And, and, and when I work with him, I always know he's going to step it up to make it that much better. And he does. He pulls it out of you. Wait till our next movie. It's not even this one. Wait till our next What's movie. What's the name of the next one? Bloodthirst. Bloodthirst. Van, oh, she plays the queen vampire, and I play the, the, uh, king. the king. The king. So are you, I don't know if I can say this, but I'm going to say it. So are you trying to suck her in? No, we're ready to clean the king. So he already sucked in. I got sucked in a long oh, yeah. time ago. <laughs> we all get sucked in eventually. Don't we? Absolutely. How are you um, coping with the movie industry and the COVID-19? I think we're doing okay. And considering that it's a very hard time yes. to deal with this, but there is... There, Everyone is working right now. The movie is working. Like, the movie is just going. It's, well, it's going full I, form. I think, you know, movie making has always required a bit of lunacy and a bit of courageous antics that don't add up to anything logical. So it's well, apropos. World, it's, no. it's, yeah, it's, no. per, it's perfect. It's I perfect. Can, I, you're absolutely right. <laughs> it separates the men from the boys. <laughs> hey, let's shoot, hey, let's shoot a movie. Let's right shoot a movie now. during a pandemic. <laughs> 
That's even better. That's even better. There's nobody around. Nobody interfering with anybody. Absolutely. And you can say what you want to say. Yes. Right? But you know, you, what you both said is in the industry, the people are very different. And the reason they're different because they're creative. And, and they probably the most creative person like I've ever worked with. And I've worked with everyone. He takes his... Uh, his characters to his heart and he puts them 100%. Do you know why? And I don't know the man at all, but do you know why? He's that good. He's secure. He's with, taught no, me. No, he's, secure, he's taught me. He's secure with himself. Exactly. He's for but, secure who I he don't is. Listen to anyone, trust me. <laughs> 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 she's the queen. The, 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 she's the queen. Why should she? Yeah, but she's the, the queen. Yeah, she's but the queen. The king. <laughs> when, he, when he tells me something, I'm like, oh. Maybe. Yeah, oh, wait. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For the sake, for, for the sake of the production. Yes. For the sake of the production, right? For the sake we of have your to knowledge, no. and I take it in because you're that good. I that's think, what it's about. And you know something. To You are giving each other, you know, these compliments, but it's because of your acting and because you're both dedicated to what you do. Well, I mean, not to sound redundant, but we had a good experience together working on the film Bloodthirst, so we're very grateful. You know, how often does that happen? It has not been my experience, although I've been afforded a career that every film has been an auspicious experience. Some of it has been pretty <laughs> awful. This is an instance where we found that we had a really good time, we did good work, we like to believe, and we hope that the product suggest that and you, and you like each other just, yeah well yeah, she's yeah. all right <laughs> he's great but no he's, he's not right. just an actor he, he's also like a director honestly uh, that will be the probably the next thing you see him do well, and, and they would also, not be surprised if you're a director and you're also an actor you actually understand the movie a little bit more sure. behind the scenes and in front of the scenes so you're able to sort of if you're acting it you know what to do and if you're directing you know what to do right and it's, it's, it's a hard thing to do. I always think to be a director is very hard. Well, I, I, learned, I learned from watching Clint Eastwood. I did a film with him called The Mule. And Clint's one eye was on me. Because I did a scene, couple of scenes with him in this film called The Mule. And um, one eye was looking at me, directing me. The other eye was in the scene with me. So I thought it was interesting how one That's what you call it. He used both eyes yeah. in two different directions. One is, one is the, uh, the director of the, uh, the eye, director yeah, the of the eye, of the and eye. then the other is the watching the performance. And so I learned this technique on how to be present in the scene with somebody oh, and also if you're not see present, what they're doing creatively. You, yeah. Yeah. you come and be present. He makes you be present in that moment. What would you both like to say to the younger generation of trying to sort of get where you have both got? Ladies first. Um, life without a dream is no life at all. So go out there and get your dream. But you know what you're getting. That's a great answer. Diligence, efforts, relentless pursuit, and never take no for an answer. Absolutely, both amazing. Thank you for that. That was amazing. Enjoy your film. Thank you. and have it. It's been gracious and an honor to interview both of you. Thank you so much. Thank we you. shall be right back. Well, welcome back to the Galaxy Theatre. I have uh, Richard Rico with me. Um, we've been standing here waiting for him. I never realized in person he was so good looking, so I don't quite know what to do. You are very, very good looking. And I'm, I'm like, <laughs> how are you? I'm good, I'm good. good. You look good. Yeah. How are you doing in your acting? Everything going good? I think feeling really good, yeah. I mean, uh, Obviously, we're, we're living in a different time right now, um, but we're still doing are things. You coping with it? Because you look like you're a very active man, and you, you, look yeah. like you're always, you, you look as if you're like always on the go and always doing. Always on the go. The um, thing is, with, with this, when you're, when you're in like a seclusion type of thing, I'm always working out, always you know, trying to create, always painting, always writing, always doing stuff. So. What's your favorite? Um, when you create and when you do all this stuff? Probably painting. Yeah. No, Oils? Uh, um, oil and acrylic mix. Yeah. Big, 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 big canvases. Oh, you, you know why I asked? Because my mother was a painter. Oh, okay. yeah, she used to paint, but she used to do these gorgeous paintings with flowers and things, or sceneries, or, you know, even a self portrait she did of herself. But I think it's a, a thing to do that's very relaxing and yeah. takes you away from everything else. Yeah. And it's solely yours, and it's solely your emotion. So, I mean, when, it, when it's in that perspective, no one else can touch it. No one else, editors can't screw with it. Nothing can happen to it. Even even when I do music, 
um, it's left up to you know the guy who's mixing it, the guy who's doing the voices, the guy who's doing that. So with um, with art, it's just solely yours. It's solely yours. Mm. It's solely yours mixing the pens. So it's your choice. How beautiful that is. Now acting. Let's get into this acting bit. You've been acting for obviously quite a few years. Yeah. Um, you obviously like it. How do you achieve, or how do you get that that natural way of acting? How does it just naturally come? I'm, I'm, you know, because you see that. I think I think it's with me. A lot of things are are really organic. Um, I take on every role. I kind of like I, I become that character. So I, I don't look at it like it's a challenge to get to that point. But once I'm at that point, it's kind of seamless and it kind of just. Roles. So you actually get yourself into that role, which most actors don't do. Exactly. And when you get yourself into that role and you completely become that person, how long does that take to do that? Three or four months? Um, I'd say about a month. About a month to get yeah, yourself yeah. into it. Yeah, and, so and when you get there, do you, you, do you like, you've, like you've got it and you're now this person? Yeah, you're that person, whether it be good, bad, or indifferent. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You have, you have now done all that yeah, to, exactly. to, to be that. Yeah, exactly. Um, what would you advise to the younger generation, you know, coming into the business? It was probably, was it hard for you, or was it it's probably easy because it's so good looking? Um, well, I, I, Challenge? I came from theater in New York, so um, I studied my, my butt off in New York. Um, you know, hit the hit the streets. You lived in you know not the best neighborhoods in the world and stuff like that. Um, you become a character, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You, you become a character. Yeah, exactly. Do you like your character? I, I, yeah, I guess. I mean, I've always kind of been this way. You know, you know, even when I was like in my twenties, early twenties. Did you live in New York when you started? Yes, yeah, I did. In the good area, bad area, indifferent. I lived in Alphabet City. I lived in when it wasn't when it wasn't chic. You know what I mean? I mean, I lived in Harlem. I lived on. So you know the rough side of it oh, as yeah. well. Yeah, very rough. The reason I'm asking that question is because everybody sees all these film stars, you know, and they think they're great and they're wonderful, but they all come from normally they come from very a hardship life. A lot of them, yeah. and they they get themselves out of it. But what I like about that is that's their character. Yeah, it, it gives you. Um, one thing it gives you a lot of a lot of stuff to 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 pull from, you know, as a person. And, and I and I think, I mean, I I failed and failed and failed so many times. But I think the failing has helped me succeed, you know. And I think if you if you get if you have it easy, when you get to a certain point, then it becomes like. It, Oh, this is supposed to happen, and 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 I think that nothing's supposed to happen. It, you, you have to work for it. Believe me, I think you and I both know that. Um, and it's, I'm not saying it's a lot of hard work. It depends what you want. Yeah, it's a lot of hard work, and but uh, I'm very proud of this movie. I think we did a great. Yeah, job. I was going to say, how did you like this movie? Is it? I think with the budget we had and everything we did, um, I think um, everyone did a great job. Um, uh, Michael did a great job. Brandon did a great job. The producers did a great job. They did a great job in post. You know, a lot of times you can be let down in post, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like the post and the sound and also, you know, yeah. the camera work. There's a lot goes into it, but the sound is very important. Sound, I post think, is, is, is paramount to, especially a film like this. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So have you got something else coming up? Yeah, I got another movie coming out called The Country Singer and then another one, one second. <laughs> you have the picture. Absolutely this awesome. For Jelly Mel and whatever. Whatever it's for, it doesn't matter. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm standing here with the three most important actors in this incredible movie, um, Attack of the Unknown. And of course, I think I'm the one that's unknown. <laughs> but anyway, you're all wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank absolutely you. amazing. Thank you very much. Now, are you in this movie? You're in Attack of the Unknown? You don't recognize me? Well, I haven't seen the movie yet. Well, Hello. You will. I, I play Callaway and uh, work with Tara and uh, looking forward to seeing, you know, I've only seen You're looking snippet. forward to seeing the whole thing in, yeah, in a company. because you only see the dailies and, and so you, oh yeah, I looked okay there or I looked bad. 
but now you can see the whole thing. This wow. is great. This guy's so excited. Why are you so You really are. You know, you're well, amazing. You know, with all that's going on, and now, after 18 months, you know, in the workings, and now we're going to be on the screen, we're going to be in a theater, that's really nice. In a couple of hours, you're going to see him in full flesh. There you go. Take care, Bob. Okay, Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, now we have... Um, Actors are going to be coming on and off all the time, so and I don't know who anybody is, so this is really cool. What you? Well, I can't figure out. So we've got two people standing here. We don't know who we are. <laughs> what is your name? Hi, I'm Scott Butler. And you're obviously in the movie. Yeah, I'm one of the cast. Yeah, I play two roles in this. You play two roles. Two roles. So first. to do what they call him, they call him Double Face. Yeah, one wasn't enough. I was like, I've got to have two parts in this role. No, I uh, initially had one, but then Michael called me in to do another. He said. Would you want to be one of the aliens? And I said, I love. I love being an alien. I love that stuff. I studied with um, one of the mime artists in LA who used to study with Marcel Marceau, the famous mime artist from France. And uh, I love creature performance. So I was like, oh my God, yeah. The only problem was I was a little bit short. <laughs> the other two. Guys... So they got a little stand for him to stand. They used to do that in the old days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I did was I, I, uh, I have like these crazy step up things that add to the shoes. So I was basically walking around like this. And then the alien head comes up up here, so I went from 5'10 to 6'5. And you've always wanted to be 6'5? I have. It was a dream come true. It's a funny thing. That. Anybody short <laughs> always wants to be tall. Anybody tall wants to be short. I don't, you've got curly hair, they want straight hair. You I tell me. I wouldn't give them the costume back. I was like, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Listen, where are you from? I'm from London. Good old London. Absolutely. What part? I was born in Croydon in South London, but I grew up in... You had an uncle in Croydon. Yeah, it's not the nicest place in London, oh, but it's... it's lovely. Croydon, Streatham and oh, Streatham oh, Hill and Croydon and Pearlie. Remember Pearlie? Yeah, Pearlie. Yeah, yeah. We know our London. We do, we do. Absolutely. I do miss Absolutely. it. Every now and then I go back. I sort of am more of a tourist now, so I appreciate it more. So how's the movie industry going for you here? Is it going good? I've only been doing it here, and uh, I started 11 years ago, and I've been here 18 years. And I started in San Diego, then moved up to LA two years after I started. And it all came from losing my job in the recession. I suddenly decided to try which, something. I've got to find out which recession? The previous one, not the one where. No, that's not the one. I'm going to work out these recessions. It did, did it really? I don't know. But they just roll out. It just blurred in, yeah, sort of melded in. But yeah, it was uh, uh, end of 2008. I was working in a you know, company I moved over to the States for. They laid off half the people. I was like, well, first break in a while. Is there anything I wanted to do? I don't know. I always wanted to try acting, so I've been doing it 11 years now. So. Well, good luck, yeah. and thank you for coming on, and the interview and thank everything, so and good luck in the movie, and good luck with your acting. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, I have a young lady that's walking on, and of course, um, I don't know who anybody is. So, okay, so I, I recognize you, actually. I've seen you somewhere before. Where have I seen you? And a lot of different things in town, probably. A lot of different things in town. The things are going on in town. A lot of Mahal. The movie. What's your name? D. Catrone. We have D. Catrone with us. And of course, what part do you play in this uh, movie? Sophia. You are Sophia. Yeah. Now, does Sophia pay a lot in the movie or a little? No, I have this one very funny scene where I'm in the car with the kids. And, and we're going and, and I'm telling them, quick, quick, go, 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 get out of here. You know, drive, drive, drive. And, and you know, we see the big alien ship up there. Oh, wonderful. It sounds very exciting. Yeah. Now, you have not seen the movie. I have. <laughs> what do you mean, shush? I can't shush. I've got a microphone in front of me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, my husband couldn't come tonight, so I, we watched it on TV. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, we watched it on well, good luck with it. Good luck with Thank your you. acting. And uh, you look amazing. Thank oh, you for coming, Anna. What, do you want to interview me now? <laughs> well, I'd like to know. My this. name is Ninon. I'm Ninon de Verde Rosa. And I have an internet TV show in town called Vegas Live with Ninon. Oh. So you must come on my show. Very nice. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Lovely to much. meet you. Lovely to meet you too. I think we go this way. Okay. Yes. Hey there. How are you? And we're, oh my goodness. Look at this handsome guy next oh, to no, me. No, I mean, no, no, no. What do you mean? No, 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 no. <laughs> you just, you're blushing. I am. See, yeah, look what I made the poor guy blush. I need some uh, makeup done. All right, makeup, please. <laughs> What's your name? Zach Muse. Zach Muse? What a lovely, unusual name. And obviously, you're in the movie. Um, and what part do you play? I play a prison inmate. In the a prison inmate. 
You're right. See, I don't know anything about this movie, so I'm going to find out as I go along interviewing everybody, and then I'm going to put it all together, and I've got a, a long movie. You do, you do. It's, it's going to be very uh, exciting. I, I, Is your part exciting? It's extremely exciting. Are you a rebel, or are you a nice guy? I am a nice guy in, in different... No, I'm not. I'm not a nice guy at all. You're not a nice guy at all. Um, in real life, though. I am a sweetheart in real life. So. He's a sweetheart. So have you been acting long in Vegas? Oh yeah, I've been out here about three years now, so... And how's it going for you? Great, I'm doing my 20th film, just got done. 20th film, wow! 20. so I'm, I'm looking at the... 20, 20, 20! Exactly, exactly. That's amazing. So how do you get your movies? Because there's a lot of actors and actresses that can't get any parts. You know, honestly, you just got to go out there and show the world what you have. And once you do that, they'll come to you. They'll come find you. Because they're looking for actors and actresses and they're qualified ones mm -hmm. um, in this town because they don't seem to have them. You know, honestly, like we do have a, a group of people that they're wonderful. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I could, I could continue to point out everybody, but everybody that I worked with with the Mahals is family now. So yeah, Michael Mahal is wonderful, oh, isn't he's it? A great guy. Great and guy. He's got himself really in a niche now. He and, does. Uh, he does. Now yes. He has a lot of. He's got a big team now, so. Absolutely. Well, it's wonderful interviewing all these different actors and actresses. Of course, we're down here at the Galaxy Theatre, and of course, this incredible movie. Thank you oh. for coming on. Oh, thank we'll you. See you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, how are you? I'm absolutely wonderful. So, what are you, what part are you playing in Attack play, of the Unknown? I play Hendrix. I play a uh, basically a guard at the jail where they come in and try to find some sanctuary. Is this a very big part, or is it just a smallish part? Are you in the whole movie? Yeah, I'm just a supporting, supporting part, supporting. Just trying to trying to make the movie look good, I guess. Well, you, should, you can definitely do that. What was your name? Richard Rendon. Richard Brendan, absolutely amazing. Are you getting a lot of parts in Vegas? Uh, yeah, I have. We've been doing some different uh, roles in different movies, so it's been really good. Absolutely. We're out of Texas, so we fly in and. Yeah. Do what you have yes, to do. Yes, yes, ma'am. Great, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Good thank luck. You. Appreciate thank it. you. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Go to the rings. Oh, thanks. <laughs> He's ringing along. Well, I have James Dalmuth with. Yes. Dalmuth, did I say that Dalmuth? right? Yes. They've got all very unusual names. I think they're all trying to test me. <laughs> I'm not sure, but they're testing me. <laughs> and, they're, and, it's, it. and it's a good job. <laughs> We're doing a very good job of it. So you're in the movie. This is an amazing movie. Um, as a whole, um, you know, from beginning to end, what did you think of how it was put through and how it was made and how the producers and everybody? So well organized. I mean, just Sonny, Michael, Brandon, everybody, you know, they just, all went all out and everything. It was great. I mean, it's my first major, you know. Your first well, major movie? Right, yes. So. This was a major movie for you. What part did you play? Um, a small role as Lieutenant Wyatt. I was an Air Force lieutenant. Oh, you an Air Force lieutenant. So I'm gathering, because I haven't seen the movie, but I'm gathering that there's planes in this movie. There is an aerial device. Or an oh, an aerial. aircraft. Yes. <laughs> an aircraft, which is called an aerial yeah. device that floats around in the air. Correct, yes. Am I correct? There is a helicopter scene. Oh, it's oh, very interesting being that this is the first time I'm actually giving lines where actually we get in the helicopter and Did you remember the to me, we, we were up in the air. And they're like, all right, well, you, didn't have, you didn't have any lines in the air. Yes, we had, to, we had to deliver our lines dealing with how, turbulence. Where does that go? How did that, <laughs> how did that, how did that go for you? Uh, we were all crammed in a little bit. Yes, your lines? How oh, did you the lines. Uh, yeah, Line. it was interesting, yes. It was hard with the turbulence to, and then I, uh, prior military, but still I get airsick. So it's, it was a... Uh, He's in the military to get airsick. It was uh, interesting. I'll just put it that way, yeah. So you enjoyed it? I did, absolutely. Did your first big movie? Yes, with lines, yeah. I mean, lines. I did the Bourne movie back in 2016, but my scene had gotten cut. But, um, but yeah. Scene got cut. <laughs> he, 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 he ended up on the floor. <laughs> and we get so excited when we, when we get a part and we're doing the right. part and we're out there and all of a sudden, where am I? You're on the floor. <laughs> that's right. That's so, right. Well, good luck and uh, enjoy the movie and uh, thank you for coming on. Thank you. I really thank appreciate you your time. Thank you. Thank you. We have Michael Forsch, another different name. They really, really are testing me with it. I've got to call you Michael. So, Michael, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm 
actually very well. I'm here at the Galaxy Theatre and we're in this incredible movie. Um, how did you get this part? Or what, whatever part it was you got, how did you get it? <laughs> well, that's funny. Um, actually, I did audition, but I'm also the casting director for the movie. <laughs> I was like, he cast himself! <laughs> uh, but the casting decisions actually aren't up to me. The casting director directs the casting, but in the end, the directors and the producers choose the artists. So um, although I did audition for my part and they did choose me, I, um, my job is to facilitate the casting. And, and so how do you actually, because you have to know about the movie, so you have to know about who's going to fit what part. How do you do that? Um, well, the writer... Very carefully. <laughs> very carefully. The writer will give you a character breakdown and a general description of what the actors look like, and then you have to send out a casting notice and then sort of have those people submit to you, and then you kind of use your expertise in choosing. Um, do you get a lot of people coming in for the movies? Oh, absolutely. My last feature film that I just... I'm uh, mid-casting right now, uh, we received about 3,000 submissions. Really? Yeah. Now, what if I came in and you were going to cast me for a movie? I don't know which one or what one it would be. What, do you think you would cast me? Absolutely. <laughs> he's on camera. He's going to definitely say that. <laughs> but it must be a fascinating job. Um, I, really, I really do enjoy that facet of production. And um, it's kind of what I've moved into is casting and producing. And, and I still love to act and be on screen as well. But it's kind of my career has sort of taken me to that side of things. That's wonderful. But what part did you play? I was Officer Bialik. Officer Bialik. There's a lot of officers, there's a lot of, um, a lot of like cops. guards and cops and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for being here and um, enjoy the movie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. How are you? Well, you look, does this look, guy look happy. I'm super happy. You're super happy. What's your name? I'm, I'm Johnny Wong. Johnny Wong. Well, Wong, that's. Yeah. Wong or Fong? Wong. Wong. I, I'm going to try it Wong. Yeah, it's not right, Wong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get it right in the end. Yeah. Anyway, so you're obviously in this movie. You look up. Doesn't he look handsome? You look he like looks look. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. So um, now, what do you think of this movie? Well, so I've only seen bits and pieces of it. I know a lot of the other cast members have seen all of it, but this is going to be the first time I watch it in full. So you haven't seen it in full. And what, what part are you playing? So I play Dallas Zhang, which is a which is a uh, podcaster from Texas. Oh, great! So I run into the good guys before they, you know, save the world. So, so oh, it's a saving world. Yeah, we gotta save the world from the bad guys and potential so aliens. The name of the movie is Attack of the Unknown. Attack of the Unknown. So we don't know what's happening. So we don't know, and I have no idea what's happening. Exactly. But it's, I'm, I'm beginning to put all the pieces together, and it's becoming very exciting. Yeah. See, I mean, it could be aliens. It could be, you know. I think I think it's a pos it's another world for 2020. It's an alternate universe for 2020. Well, let me tell you something. We're going through so many different worlds in 2020, so having yes. another one really doesn't matter. Yes, yeah, so I think Murder Hornets might show up on this special edition Blu-ray, maybe. Okay. maybe. How how was it with all the directors and producers? How was that? Oh man, uh, working with all the talent on set, cast and crew, everybody's amazing. Um, super professional. Uh, one of the best sets I've ever been on. Isn't that nice? So, are you a professional actor? Sim, yes, professional actor, semi-professional actor. That's what you do for a living. Amateur comedian, yes. <laughs> Not really. Amateur comedian. That makes two of us. Oh, hey, I love it. <laughs> Enjoy the movie thank and thank you, you for much. coming. Thank you very much. I know you. You know well, me? Yes. What was your, I interviewed you before, didn't Margo I? Margot Quinn. Margot Quinn. I have Margot Quinn with me. Absolutely beautiful. Thank and you. And what part do you play? I play Amelia. Amelia. Oh, I love that name. You look like Amelia anyway. Oh, good. As long as I look like Amelia in this movie. <laughs> yeah, that's what you name. Exactly. Uh, how did you, what part, you, so you played this part. Was it a lead part? It was a supporting role. I am Tara Reid's daughter in the You're movie. Tara Reid's daughter. Oh, in the movie. In the movie. Not in real life. Not in real life. <laughs> no, no. She doesn't have any kids. <laughs> not yet. I, well, she's not, not married, I don't think. No, I don't, I don't know yet. about what her private life is. I don't either. So how did you get the part? I got the part. I, uh, I had filmed a movie already with Maha Bros, and I just fell in love with them, and they liked the connection with me, and they asked me to come back on this film. I originally filmed The Art of the Dead with them, so now I'm back for The Attack of the Unknown. 
So, because um, I understand from Michael that he's now got on a roll and he's, he's going to be doing another movie yes. and another movie. Um, so do you feel that, that he's going to sort of get you in all the movies? I hope. I mean, wherever I fit. Extra nice to him. <laughs> exactly, yes. It helps having Michael, a Michael, what would you like? <laughs> yes. But, I mean, wherever I can fit in and be a good like gem diamond in the rough I'd, I'd love to help you loved it and love and it. do you live in vegas and do you I do your la oh, you live in la yes so you did you have to come to vegas for yes. the movie they flew me to vegas did you have to stay a long time or how no i think the we're in a flashback scene so this scene only took about a day to film so they flew me in from la to vegas and i stayed about a day and a half so i was in and out quick <laughs> but, so how's the filming going on in Vegas? I mean, in uh, Los Angeles. It's it's picking back up. I mean, with COVID, it's hard, but a lot of online auditions, a lot of them. So that's great. I mean, how, do, how do you audition online? I mean, that must be really hard. It's, it's they expect you since you have more time. It's got to be perfect. You know, you 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 don't Can anything be perfect. I, you got to figure it out. You got to do whatever you think will. Book you that Whatever role. you got to do, you got to do, and that—that's what makes you a movie star. That's what makes you dedicated to to your craft. Exactly, because it is a craft. It is. It's an art. What have you got lined up? Anything? Well, I just came from set yesterday from a movie called The um, Angel of Death, and it's a sci-fi horror. Um, keeps you on, a thriller, and it keeps you on the edge of your seat. So, I'm staying. You busy. love these type of movies, love don't you? It. Absolutely love it. Great, that's a, well she's amazing actually. Thank you so much. Enjoy Thank the movie. You. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Me. Absolutely. Well I have Brandon with me and uh, Brandon is actually you are the director, that's producer and I know oh, no, I heard this. Just, just director. Well that's enough, isn't it? Uh, yeah. That is anyone who knows anything about movies knows that is more than enough. I mean were there many days where you were filming and filming and filming? Yes, yes. 12 hour days every single day basically you wake up you get ready you go shoot you come home because you're too exhausted to do anything else plus also, well and also we shot in LA and I, I live there but you know you go five miles in LA anywhere and that's an hour drive so it used to be until the pandemic actually yes I, I was just, now just freeway you could just drive straight through right right I was just telling my brother-in-law who was a PA in the movie how I haven't seen traffic maybe more than twice like in six months Really? Until I drove here. Until, and then, yeah. Yeah. And then we're busy here, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. how did you like um, directing this movie? Um, this I mean, it was fun. I, I, I knew... Different movie. Yeah, I knew, the, I knew Michael and Sonny a little bit, and uh, I knew the DP, Michael Sue, because he and I actually met on a music video about a decade earlier. So we all had really good chemistry, and we just kept it fun. So it was an enjoyable shoot, and I tried to make sure that I created an environment that encourage people to do their work, but also also enjoy it at the same time. Because sometimes movies that's very are hard. grueling. Right, that's right. very hard to do. Because you know, there's a secret about a director. A director, when he talks to an actor or actress, he has to be careful because you don't want to bring them down. Right, exactly. So you have to be, well, let's do the shot in a different way. Rather than say, well, that was terrible. You yeah. can't do that. Yeah, you have you, to build people up. and build yeah. So it's a whole different way exactly. of, of how to talk to people and sort of to encourage them. See, I, I was an actor for years and years and years. Oh, so, so you know, in front yeah. and behind. Exactly. Oh. I've done it in, I think, four years to the day. Although I do, I do have a little cameo, but in a Hallmark movie. But only because there was <laughs> I no love it. to do it, because the movie had to be done. Um, it comes out next month. But other than that, I, I quit years ago. But I still know, I, I still try to be mindful of how I used to feel when I was in their spot. Yes, and, and you have to understand that because they're nervous, they're worried, they might miss the lines, they're sort of, exactly. you know, so you have to sort of be patient a lot. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So how did you like the outcome of the movie after you directed this incredible movie and now it's out there and everybody's going to see it? Yeah. You know, finishing it was, was interesting because we were still finishing the movie when COVID happened. And for instance, the guy that was doing our visual effects, Slohan, was working on The Witcher season two in the UK and he was stuck there. So we still had to figure out a way for him to finish. That's right, he couldn't fly. Yeah. He, had to, he had to finish all the visual effects on his laptop, which is not an ideal situation, remotely. Well, yeah, so then he has to send it to you exactly. 
and then uh, it's slow internet connection. I was going to say, and yeah. then the internet, because that is probably too large to send through, so they've yes. got to find, then you have to keep chopping it up to send it through. We all be through that. Right, and all these visual effects were in 6K. They were gigantic oh. files, and there were about 200 of them. So... So uh, three, three, months, three months later, he's still putting it together. I was actually still putting them in probably two days before we delivered the movie. Oh, my goodness. And, and, that's, and sometimes that happens, but, it's, but it was really only because we had to, you know, against all odds and against what's going on in the world, still finish. Well, you know something? This is the challenge, and challenge of life. And when you are able to cope with it and fulfill that challenge, you become the winner. Exactly. It's tough, it's hard, I know what it's like, because I've been there, done all that stuff, and unless you concentrate and keep going, you're a dead duck. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a dead duck. Yeah, I, I wanted to have a better, better you know, callback for that, but I think you already said it. You, I, can, I couldn't say it any better. Isn't that sweet? Well, well enjoy your movie, you you. and enjoy everything, and it's great to have you. Wonderful. Thank we'll you. see you again soon. Thank you. I'm glad I made it. I literally pulled right in from L.A. I'm underdressed, obviously, and got no, right out of the car I, and came in here. I think he's very well dressed, actually. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. You look like you're very well known, and I don't know who you are. <laughs> you're Clay Trumbull. Yes, you. Yes, you have. Clay Trumbull's with me, and yes, we have spoken before. Um, I think each time I see you, you get taller, or you're buying shoes that have got bigger soles. I'm buying the shoes with the bigger soles because I'm I'm actually uh, shrinking as I get older. I was about. I shrink. Well, how does? When I was six foot eight, I'm down to six six now. You lost two inches. Yeah, lost two inches, and that's never a good thing for men. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. That's okay. So anyway, you're in this movie. And um, what part do you play? I play Tobias. I'm on the uh, on the on the team. You're uh, on the team. I'm on the and team. so, are you in the whole movie all the way through? I'm one of those guys. I can't say too much, but I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm one of the main guys. One of the main I'm stars. The main but you but but, but he's being very modest because he's a star anyway, and he's a big star, and we all know. But um, how was it? filming this movie and the pandemic and all the stuff it was a little difficult we got to film this before the pandemic so luckily that was okay but cool fortunately uh you know our big night and we get to deal with all this junk so it, it does it's a Just little sting and this and that and everything else. it's a little bit of a sting but you know but luckily we did get to film it before any of this uh, became an issue and uh and it was fantastic filming it you know we uh, went out in uh, la and uh and and brandon's great uh, michael sue's great the mayhalls are great and uh, everybody that's a great team isn't it's it? it's an awesome team i've uh, been with this team a long time haven't you? I've done a couple of things with them now. Um, th this was one of my uh, bigger, uh, bigger thing, roles yeah. for for them. But yeah, my hells are they're just getting bigger and better every uh, every film they do. They're just rolling on. So and so aren't hard. you. You're getting bigger and better, even I'm if you did on. lose two inches. <laughs> it's okay. I'm working. Thank you very it, much. Good, great to see you and Always good luck. Always a pleasure. Thank Always you so pleasure. much. Thank you, have you have so much. You too. I have Alan Woodman with me. I've known Alan Woodman for quite some time now. He's actually been on my show, Vegas Live with right. Ninon. And of course, we're down here at the Galaxy Theater. And of course, it's um, this amazing movie, Attack of the Unknown. Um, whoever the unknown is, we're gonna find out in a little bit. But how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing fantastic. I love coming to the premiere and I, I heard nothing but good things about this film. Yeah. Um, I worked as a stunt coordinator for the Mahal's last film, Bloodthirst. Yes. So that worked out really well. So, I'm How's the stunt business going? Is it good? It's doing great. We're doing classes every week still here in Las Vegas. Okay. Um, this week we're doing horseback riding. Gonna take oh, so are you, I hope it's English. It, it is. Yes, because they, they have American riding. Right. And then they have well, the we're, English. We're, the English is very sort of, you know, sort of. We do it in English. We teach the class in English. You teach the class. No, it's west, you know, it's western saddle riding, so we western can do stunt saddle. falls off the horses and stuff. So you actually train the people to do the yeah. stunts and to yeah. jump on That's the horse, right. get yep. off the horse, and not hurt themselves. Hopefully, if I'm if I'm doing my job right, nobody yeah. gets hurt. Are you doing any stunt work? Uh, well, actually, yeah. So, like I said, I was just working on Bloodthirst, and then we have a horror film that we're going to be producing called Death Hike, and I got to do some stunts on that, and that's one that we're producing ourselves. So. So, you know, he always keeps himself so busy, it's amazing, and it's wonderful. Vegas is keeping, keeping you good, right? Try, trying. I'm trying really, really, really hard. 
you probably have to try it a little harder because the, the um, you know, the, the epidemic. I mean, That's this, right. This you know, I have actually a couple of my stunt students who have been on the stunt uh, in my stunt classes, actually in this film. Uh, in the film? John, Johnny Molinero is one of the, the uh, leads. Awesome. And then Sierra Valenzuela, just off camera, the beautiful girl yes. right here. The, yeah. She, she's, uh, she's a student uh, that comes to the class. So we've got lots of people that are in this movie that come to the Stunt Academy. That, that's how, this is how the movie industry works. They try to keep it all together so the people that are trying to get in, they try to bring them in the movie and try to help them and do the... Because that's typical of the movie business because everybody tries to help everybody. And, you know, it's and a hard business. We're about casting Rafe in our next film, the horror film. So. There you go. Right. Standing that'll right be, I think I'm going to interview fun. him next. That'll be fun. That'll be wonderful. Right? Wonderful. So. Always doing stuff and love so to see you. So don't forget to come you. back on my show and we'll Anytime. let everybody, we'll let everybody I, know. I actually want to set up maybe something for next week or something. We'll okay, well, you've got to talk to Lynn. Lynn down there, that's my talent, yep. and yep. she'll get you on. You got it. Got it. Thank you, you take care. You are all right. I don't care what he says about you. You are okay. I think he says pretty good. <laughs> I think he says pretty good things. <laughs> Okay, we're down here at the Galaxy uh, Theatre, an oh, attack it, of the it. unknown, and there's the camera right there. And what was your name again? Raph Adami. Raph? Adami, Raph. Adam, Raph. 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 Listen, I'm just going to call him Raph. Raph, how are you? Great, I'm doing great. How about you? Well, I'm doing great. We interviewed before, when we keep interviewing you because you keep getting into these movies. Uh, how do you get all these movie parts? Well, you got to understand, this happened a couple of years ago. So, uh, you know, this movie started a couple of years ago and now it's coming out and so it's taken time and I'm ex I'm just real excited and very grateful That's pretty to have short. the opportunity. Is that pretty short to make a movie like two years because some movies take an awful long time don't they? This is really my first feature movie that I'm going to be in so uh, I'm, I'm ex thank you very much. That's amazing. Yeah. So you have a feature part in it? No I have a cameo role. A cameo role. Yeah. Well, that's cool. It's my, it's my first cameo role in a feature movie. So I mean, um, so I mean, it's a very small role, but. Um, How long have you been acting? You've been acting a long time. Since about 2015, I started in. Um, well, you didn't start till a little later. Uh, so you've only been doing it like five years. But the last few years, I've really, really committed myself and taken acting classes, and um, I just love being a part of the Vegas community and uh, you know sharing with other actors here and. Uh, and it's just, it's, it's great. It's, it's a great you opportunity. Just said, he just said a great line, and the line was, if you want to be an actor, you've really got to concentrate, you've got to go to classes, you've got to learn, and you might like to tell me, I say, well, I know it all. I don't need to have any lessons. And that's not true. Oh, no, I don't. went for an audition and totally embarrassed myself because I hadn't had any acting for a long time. Yeah. And I thought, oh my goodness, Ninon. <laughs> and I, I had not forgotten, but I was used, I'm used to doing another role, which is talking to people. And then acting is different. So you know, but you're absolutely right. You've got to pay attention to your trade. Absolutely, and so uh, I'm just, you know, uh, enjoying these opportunities that have been given to me, and uh, I'm looking forward to being a part of another movie that's coming up with the Mahal Brothers, uh, Bridge of the Doomed, and uh, I'm, I'm just ecstatic. I'm really happy that the, the Mahal Empire, the Mahal Brothers, have uh, done this Indiegogo thing and taken it to the next level. The Mahal Brothers are absolutely amazing because they've really got themselves into it, and they they're now being able to get back us and get people to sponsor them and help them, and oh, yeah. you know, which is a great thing. So I'm I'm ecstatic. I'm just great grateful to be here, and I'm in, I'm truly enjoying tonight. That's amazing. Well, thank you for coming on. Absolutely. It's great interview. Thank Always you. good to interview thank you. Very much. Yeah. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? Very good. He's nice and tall. <laughs> I've got to stay on my mark because otherwise uh, my producer gets upset with yeah. me. What's your name? I'm Jeffrey Belay. Jeffrey Belay? Yes, Jeffrey Belay. Jeffrey Belay. Well, Jeffrey is um, in this incredible movie, Attack of the Unknown. Uh, when we're down here at the Galaxy with the premiere, which is absolutely wonderful. It's all crowded out here. Now, you're obviously in the movie. Well, the thing is, not this one, but I mean the next three that he has. I came oh, so you from Seattle, so you flew out here yes, to, just to be the premier. Yes, yes. yes. So um, I'm a childhood actor, so I was in the industry for a long time, and I worked with major stars. So for me to do this for who are the star? Who are the stars you work with? I worked with a lot of the people from Brady Bunch and a lot of the people from Silver Spoons, and I was a floater. So which means I go from Paramount to Warner Brothers to all over. You know, all the big um, I do. theaters. Yes, 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 yes. Well, you must have had a very different childhood. I did. I started out when I was seven years old, and I did it till I was about 18. So. How 
wonderful. Yep, now I that means that the, I know the, the story about this because I, <laughs> I had a show called Voices of Tomorrow. Oh, oh okay. Yes. So I used to go on the, a lot of the sets. Oh, okay. And I also know that you also have to have an education. You do, yes. And they have teachers on sets for people like you. Yes, we had to learn on set. We had a tutor that was there for us, and we had to pass math, English, science, all the same stuff that everybody else does at the same place, yep. Oh no, those kids that don't go to school. Yes, oh, they yes, do. we do. Oh, yes, we do. And you have to pass your grades. Otherwise, you can't do your job. So Otherwise, you can't be an actor. Yep, that's right. That's right. Well, one thing for sure, you can't be a child actor again. <laughs> no, I'm actually um, proud of myself. I'm 51 years old, um, but I look like I'm 30, so it gives me a little advantage. In he has a little edge on the world <laughs> out there. He's got an edge yeah. going out there. But been in many different movies since then and uh, just glad to be able to support uh, all the big stars that are in here that I know and different things like that. Yeah, that coming yeah, Robert, huh? Robert Lissardo, Tara Reid, all of them, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Tara Reid, I, I did her before, so oh, okay. I'm so looking you know, forward yeah. to interviewing her, absolutely. Well, they're very lucky and they're very uh, lucky to be interviewed by you because I watched your show when I was down here filming last time. And I love your show. It's a great show. That's sweet. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I appreciate and, uh, that. Good luck to you in your endeavors in the future. Thank you. And I wish you well, the best. good luck to you in the next Thank three movies. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. You got this. Well, I have a young lady, and my goodness, she has a talk about a fitting dress. She looks amazing. Oh, and she's got this great smile. She's gorgeous. What's your name? Sarah Valenzuela. Sarah Valenzuela. Um, another long name, so it's going to be Sarah. <laughs> so how are you, Sarah? I'm good. How are you? I'm absolutely wonderful. Look at the look at her outfit. Thank you. Did this take long to get together? Yes, it did. Oh my gosh, I didn't think it was going to take as long as it did. But now, why did it take so long? You wanted you a certain what? look. It was the hair that took a long time. It's always the hair. It's always it's hair. always the hair. It's always the problem. Either you got too much hair, or you haven't got enough. Right. Yes. But it was the hair. Uh, everything else was just. Well, she's got all sorts of clips in it, and I'm not quite sure she's got all these clips. And yeah. did you do this yourself? I did. <laughs> so she's not only an actress, right? She can also do hair. Yeah. I my hair girl. Unfortunately, she's in the hospital, so I can't. I, I hope. I hope she's not uh, not the COVID. I don't think so. I think she's just like broke something. I mean, bad to say, but yeah. Well, we'll wish her good luck anyway. Well, whatever, whatever. So now let's get down to it. What part did you play in the movie? I'm Machine Gun Girl. What is that? So basically, that's what it is. I, I go around and I'm the right hand man of the mafia lord, the biggest mafia lord. And so I carry a machine gun girl and yeah. Basically, that's what it is. And I flank him with the machine gun and yeah, I kill the the people that are trying to hurt you. Hi, hang on a second. How many people do you kill? A lot. Did you mind doing I that? To protect the boss, you know? You were protecting the boss. Well, why did he need so much protection? Well, I mean, he's a big time drug lord, so he needs to protect you. We won't go any further. You've got to watch the movie. You have to come and see the movie, yes. right? It's Attack of the Unknown. It's down here at the Galaxy Theatre. Amazing, wonderful. Um, you are an actress, obviously. Um, you got any, anything else coming up? Um, right now I don't, obviously because of this whole COVID thing, but hopefully something comes up soon. Well, have a look at this young lady. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. I don't see why she can't get any part at all. But if she can't do that, she can always do your hair. Right. <laughs> hair and makeup. I did my makeup too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, come up to my house tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Take Thank it this way. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Oh, okay. I guess Hello. I get to take off my mask. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you get to take it off. Absolutely. What's your, your name? Hi, my name is Elizabeth Noel Jeffett. Elizabeth Noel Jeffett. <laughs> I think I got that one. They all have these incredible <laughs> names. I think you say it better than I. I oh. Like well, you, well, Josette, you have to put that little accent on it because it's like it's got to go. You know, crunch. Je ne sais pas. Oh, je crois. Je me. Oh, parlez-vous français? Un uh, peu. I don't speak it either. <laughs> I'm just fooling around. That's all I'm doing. I believed it. I believed it. I, I'm French and Swedish and Mexican, so. Well, I'm barely English. 
barely English. Barely English. Where are you from? What part? What part? All of me. <laughs> well, I love your accent anyway. <laughs> what part are so you from? I'm from Torquay. Oh, nice. You know Torquay? I don't. No, I didn't think so. Nobody knows Torquay. It's, a, it's in the wilds. No, it's, they actually call it the English Riviera. Uh, it's, it's got the palm. We have palm trees. We have obviously water. It's beautiful. Let's get to you. It's all about you, not me. No. I mean, no, no, I'm old hat here. Yeah. What then? No. <laughs> no. But you're obviously in the movie. Um, did you enjoy doing this movie and what part? So I play the role of Bordeaux, and this what is my... What does Bordeaux do? Does Bordeaux have a gun? She does, and she's not very good with it. <laughs> I'm a total dork. <laughs> but this is my first Mahal film, and now, I'm, now I've done, I'm into three. But uh, I had the best time. I had so much fun. And to be on a Mahal set, honestly, you will, I mean... It's well, really Michael's fun. great, isn't he? Uh, well, they're all great. Sunny, yeah. They're all no, great. The Mahal Empire, I mean, they're amazing. Yeah. And they're so amazing to work with. And they're humble. And they run a great set. And you I'm know, not just saying that. I was I'm talking really to your director. And I was saying that when, when we have actors and actresses on, that we have to make sure that we keep them nice. And we keep them up. Yeah, and yeah. they never do any wrong. Right. Because Positive. If you put them down, they, they feel like they fail. Right. So you have to keep them up. Well, all of them are positive. Michael Sue, director of photography. Um, Brandon Slagle, writer and director, and then the Mahals. And seriously, yeah, the Mahals are just, you know, they're. Yeah, I love awesome. them. So, what do you got lined up? You got something else lined up? Uh, I'm going to be, I, we just finished Bridge of the Doom, and we're doing Death by Numbers right now. They're currently doing Death that film. Death by Numbers, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Death by Numbers, and I have a TV series I'll be doing in Palm Springs, and, and I've written my first comedy, and I don't. I'm hoping to. I film was going to say. I, I was going to say. I bet she does comedy yes. because she, you, you love it, don't you? I love it. I am a total dork. Do you, do you walk out on the stage, and start laughing? Yeah. I mean, I talk to everybody. Uh, I don't care who, what you are. I like. I'll You're talk not to everybody in, everywhere. You know, she's not inhibited about anything, right? I'm not. No. That's no. cool. I'm That's cool. I mean, I'm a dork and I'm kind of shy, but when I'm like. Here, I'm like, I'm just like, no, okay, here we go. Let's do it all. <laughs> I love it, I yeah. love it. Well, good luck, enjoy the movie. Thank you, so Thank you very Thank much, you. and all the nice best for everything else this way. Hello. How are you? I'm very, very well. How are you? Well, we've got, I've got an action guy here. Let me get back on my mark. Steve gets very upset if I'm not on my mark. Okay, and who are you? You look gorgeous. Look at the, oh, look at the shoes. Well, you can't see the shoes, but, but you can't see them. But they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. We'll get a photograph of them. <laughs> and. And I love your dress. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> anyway, what's your name? I'm Gerardo de Pablo. Gerardo de Pablo. I really can't repeat that name. All right, what was the first name again? Gerardo. 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 Oh, Gerardo. We have Gerardo here. I play yes. in the You play, and is that a big part, a little with the SWAT team. So your photograph, I'm gonna a little bit. You're you're you're, you're one of them. Yeah. Well, it just went. When we come back. At yeah. When it, he'll find it'll come back eventually. So the attack of the unknown is um it, it's a, I love the title, um because everything's very much at the moment very unknown because of the COVID-19. Yeah. So we've become a little bit unknown. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. It's why well, when we shot the movie. We didn't know, of course, about this enough copies, but then it was like, oh, it's so convenient. What is happening right what's, now? What's going on around now? So um, you're obviously an actor, a well-known actor, or are you playing a lot of parts lately, or what's going on? Uh, I've been acting for 12 years in Spain. I came to the U.S. Uh, four years ago. Uh, this is one of the big movies I did here, and I'm coming back to Spain because I started a new movie in November there. How wonderful. What part of Spain? In Madrid. Madrid, I love Madrid. You know, there's one great thing about Madrid. You go, oh yes. Oh, yeah. You go to Madrid, it's absolutely gorgeous. But you can't have dinner. The, the first sitting for dinner is 10 o'clock at night. Exactly, that's the first time for dinner, 10 o'clock. And then we go down to Marbella, to the Marbella Yacht Club. Yeah, exactly. It's gorgeous. And yeah, the, the weather is beautiful, the ocean, everything. And lunch is at 3 p.m. Dinner. I know is that, <laughs> And you go out at one in the morning. 
doesn't that? That's a completely different way of life, but it's a cool life. It is cool, yeah. But I love here everywhere, anyways. Are you living in Vegas or Los Angeles? I live in Los Angeles. I came here for the premiere, but yes, I live in Hollywood. Wonderful. Well, he's absolutely amazing. He's got lots of energy. And good luck in your career, and good luck back in Spain. Thank you so much. I love Spain. Love it. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. And you're obviously in the movie. What part do you play? Uh, actually, just a small part, but uh, one of the people that are escaping, you know, the mothership. Which is, I don't know who the mothership is, I don't know who the fathership is, <laughs> but it's all happening out there. This sounds like a pretty cool movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see it. I actually wore a dark wig in this, so I like to mix it. The so she likes to mix it up and everything. How, you've been an actress. Are you an actress in Los Angeles or an actress here? Uh, actually, here and there, a little bit of everywhere. Wherever you can get a part. Italy. Um, Italy? Yeah. So you've been acting a long time? Yeah, yeah, long time. <laughs> How did you like this movie? Well, I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen the trailer. How did but, you like uh, being in it? Oh, my God. It, it was really exciting and fun. Um, everyone is fantastic. The crew and the Mahals are just yeah, the unbeatable. Are amazing. I know. They're absolutely wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Well, good luck in your career. Well, good thank luck in you. everything and thank you. It wasn't so hard to follow them, was it? <laughs> thank you. I have Jeremiah Dunbar with me and of course he's in this incredible movie, Attack of the Unknown. Um, how did it go for you? Um, I think it was an incredible experience. I played the machine gun man. Uh, Wait, is that you have a machine gun? Yes, it's, that's just my role, the machine gun man. <laughs> so you are in charge of all the machine guns? Um, no, I'm one of the killers. And the, uh, the Another killer. Everybody's killing everybody. It's a little freaky. It's a little scary out here. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun, though. It was a really uh, interesting experience. How did you get the part? Um, I auditioned for it. I ended up um, getting it for one of my agents, and then they brought me in. And the next day, they're like, I absolutely love you. And I was like, all right, let's see. Oh, I love somebody loves me and puts me in their movie. Exactly. That's all I'm waiting for. So, um, how long have you been trying to get parts? Have you been doing it a long time? Um, I've been in LA for around three years. I've been acting for three years. Um, I've done some cool things. I've been in like Grownish. Uh, I have a movie where I'm the lead in called As I Am. Um, that's on Amazon Prime and everything like that. Honestly, I'm just trying to find work. So right you're now. doing very well, actually. I'm trying to do my best. Yes. Oh, I love it. So you're very modest. Oh, thank you. That's very good. Well, good luck. Enjoy the movie and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what is your name? I'm Steph Tripp. And Rick Tripp. They're on a trip. You're definitely on a trip. Okay, so the movie, how is it? Did it go great? Uh, it went well. We haven't seen it yet, though. We've been waiting until tonight. So. Big parts, small parts? Um, uh, producers. Uh, yes, uh, we, we've been behind the Mahal Brothers since they started in Vegas, and uh, so we've been a part of uh, most of their movies. That's right. I interviewed you here at the oh, Galaxy yeah. before when you both did the... Yeah, we did Bus Party to Hell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Bus Party to Hell. Yeah. So it's obviously going very, very well. Oh, yeah, um, how are you able to um, keep it together as husband and wife? Or is it, I assume it's together. Um, you know what, it's been 13 years and... Uh, They're still married. Yeah, yeah, we have a business together. We own Tripping Tattoo Company. So we, uh, we, she does all the numbers and does all the business and I do all the art and together we do pretty good. So, you know, she's, got the, she's taken the right side of life because she's in charge of all the money. That's right. <laughs> and she's laughing about it too. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, I know. You don't know where the money is and you've had it. Yeah, you know what, throughout all this, um, for the pandemic actually, I think that my involvement definitely saved us a little bit. A saver with money. Yes. Yes. I understand because I'm a saver. I'm just I'm an, I have an in case in case something happens. Oh yeah, for sure. You know we slowed down a little bit and uh, you know mainly with our kids at home, trying to keep them busy. Uh, one of my daughters learned Japanese. Uh, my other daughter went uh, full force into her college career. She's second year in UNLV now, and the theater just opened up so she could take her classes. So uh, we just kept ourselves busy, you know, uh, trying to be involved with the Mahal Brothers. They made three movies during this time. I know. So a lot wow. to do with that. Uh, they have another one coming out, Bridge of the Doomed, and I got to play a zombie and do some like stunt acting, and uh -huh. it was pretty. It was pretty fun. You know, it's amazing because there's so many people that are complaining about the COVID-19, and 
they're all sort of, you know, out of, but when you listen to people like this that absolutely, you know, the trips, I'll call them, um, and you, you march forward and you do what you have to do, and also you've got two children, yes. and they took care of their two daughters, oh, yeah. which is amazing. How did, the, did, were they okay? Oh yeah, they just slept all day. <laughs> <laughs> They're supposed to be working. Be great I know, babies. right? I think so. <laughs> yeah, they, they like being off. They like staying up all night, like till five in the morning. We didn't really. Then you didn't really give any. Well, after about month two, it was really hard to keep putting rules into place. Yeah. So we just we just do what you want to do. Yeah, you know what I mean? A little bit of time off. It's yeah. it's a different time for everybody. So, yeah. and uh, it, you know, like all things, it'll pass. Absolutely, but everything passes. In a lifetime as we have we had something that's lasted this long and. Is this confusing? Yeah. So, yes, yeah, very confusing because you can do this and can't do that, and then you can do it, then you can't do it. Very confusing. But you kept your business together, you kept it going, and you're doing well. Oh yeah, oh, I'm yeah. doing great. Yeah, we're expanding. We're adding piercing, and we just uh, built onto our shop uh, for this whole COVID. We've been building. We just did Where's the floor shop? today. Uh, Dean Martin Drive, uh, right by Hot Hot Rod, Hot Rod uh, Auto Museum. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, it's actually 5115 Dean Martin Drive. There you go. She's got, she's got it all down. Typical woman. She knows where she is, that's why. Well, good luck to both of you. Enjoy the movie and uh, thank you for coming on. Right on Take care. You. Nice thank to see you again. Nice to see you too. Pleasure to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah, there you go. Good to see you. Ben Stober with me. And we are at the Galaxy Theatre in Las Vegas because we're always in Las Vegas. Yeah. We have this incredible movie that's absolutely amazing. And it's like the Mahal's first sci-fi action fantasy horror film. Usually it's horror films, yes. but this one's like a big action disaster movie amidst a real life COVID pandemic disaster. It's kind of weird, like, why are we releasing it now? But it's like, it's such a fun, action-packed escapism movie that still, the people need to kind of get away from home to, to come to the theaters to see, or can even just watch it at home. It's on PVOD right now on Amazon and the streamings. But with actors like Tara Reid and Robert Lissardo you were just interviewing, and Richard Grieco from 21 Jump Street, the Mahals just keep taking each film a step further and adding bigger, more recognizable names and bringing back actors, those name actors, that they really have good relationships. The name of the movie is Attack of the Unknown. The, the, the actual title is amazing because what we're all going through right now is the unknown. Exactly. We have, I mean, we're, we're, we're trying to figure out how to be safe. Are masks working? Are they not? Is social distancing working or not? There's a lot of questions. There's a lot of facts. And I think really the most important part is just it's always better to be over prepared than under prepared. Exactly. I'd rather wear a mask and keep my distance and being safe and protecting you even if it doesn't really work. I'm just more in my mind thankful to be Well he's definitely in his mind because he's definitely in his colours. He's got a different colour hair, he's got a mask on that's got all the colours, and then he's got this crazy suit on. But this is how he always dresses. Ben I've never it's known myself. Ben. I've never known you any other way. No. Now how's your acting going with this colour hair? You know it's been fantastic. Even during the pandemic I highly would say for anybody that's been at home worried and not sure if, that there's anything that they can do right now. It's a perfect time to create content, to be going online, taking classes, learning new skills, reading scripts, reading books, writing. I wrote my first feature length screenplay during this pandemic. That was one of my goals. And there was, I always had an excuse. I didn't have enough time. Well, five months of time during this pandemic. Five months of time, a lot of time. Exactly. And then I was fortunate to work with the Mahals on not one, but two movies during the pandemic. It was shot during the pandemic, Nina. We did uh, a vampire film, Bloodthirst, last month. And uh, that was with Tara Reid, Robert Lissardo, and Costas Mandalore. And then we are wrapping next week, Death Count, which is a uh, Saw hostel film with Costas and Michael Madsen. And I've had the chance to work on a crew position as a script supervisor and PA and first AD. And again, I highly urge any actors and artists to take an opportunity and work a crew position. Watch actors from a very different perspective and you will learn a great deal. A great deal, deal of it. Um, what are the brothers like working for? Sonny and Michael, I love the fact that they are, they are open to suggestions and ideas. They, they know how to, to market and campaign for these films. There has been no other pair that has been able to go that distance and far and to gain such 
not national but international support for yes. exactly. Well, they now got recognition because they have really literally plowed away. They've been working and working because I've known them for a lot, well you and them right. for about three or four years now and yeah. they keep going and they keep going and they keep building and building and, and that's the only way to do it. It is and I've worked Hard work. Absolutely. I worked with them since last day of school. It'll be seven films over the past five years. And I've got some exciting news, too, that they are, uh, with their next film they're looking at shooting in November, they want to return to, uh, to casting, opening casting up with self-tapes. And so for any actors out there, people that want to be a part of the Mall Empire, please follow them on social media. Check out their projects and their postings and know that there will be some open call auditions, some self-tapes. That was the biggest thing I wanted to make sure that, that actors get the chance to be a part of it because I've been a part of their past seven well, films. they're very willing to get actors, unknown actors, to be part of it. They're very willing to get them and help them. Yes, because I was an unknown in the very beginning. They didn't know me and I auditioned and they knew me and I've continued working with them since. That's building relationships. Yes. And then they know what my capabilities are and that's just like with anybody else you work with. It's building that trust what you can do and building those relationships and they'll keep working with you and it's a trust thing absolutely, absolutely. well thank you ben amazing yeah, absolutely well. wonderful i have michael maho with me and, and if it wasn't for this young man we wouldn't none of us would be here none of us you have achieved over the years and I've, I've done many red carpets for this man yes for michael and you've achieved so much in such a very short time mm -hmm. um a lot of hard work yeah, um, absolutely. This is our uh, eighth feature film that we've completed, and uh, we're very excited that you're here covering the red carpet event. Uh, this is the world premiere event for Attack of the Unknown. The movie stars Tara Reid, Richard Grieco, Robert Lissardo, and some other amazing talent. And uh, it's an amazing movie. I think it's our best one out of the eight. And uh, I'm just very appreciative for everybody that came out and supported us and is here to uh, watch our movie tonight. Absolutely amazing. Now, where's your brother? Uh, my brother's actually by the open bar. You can always... Oh, he, he's by the bar. Is, yeah. is he having a drink? Yeah, he's having a drink. He's having a drink. Well, someone's got a drink. Yes, yeah, somebody has to. Someone has to keep it going and someone has to drink. So, exactly. so they make a good pair. Exactly. Now, you were saying, um, I was asking about financing. Um, to finance a movie is very, very difficult because each time you start a movie, the next one is more expensive and they exactly. get more and more exactly. and more. And so, you uh, said it was becoming yeah. quite easy for yeah. you. Yeah. So uh, we've been really good at uh, crowdfunding on Indiegogo. We raise hundreds and thousands of dollars each movie. It's like a GoFundMe except for filmmakers and uh, we have investors that continuously contribute like you know twenty five fifty thousand dollars and we end up getting budgets in the half a million plus range um, and these investors keep coming back and they so we're able to get really famous talented people like we just uh, made another movie besides this with Michael Madsen that's called Death Count and then we just did another one called Bloodthirst and that has Costas Mandalore from the Saw franchise um, so things have just been really good and we keep making them because people keep giving us the money. Well, that's true, but then you're also making sure they get a return on their money. Absolutely. So if, they, if they don't, if they put the money in, then they're putting yeah. the money in to get a return. Yeah. So, so uh, if you do that... If, uh, like if you put a money on Indiegogo, there's no equity investment, it's just a donation. But we have an LLC set up for every movie and you can uh, be an investor and subscribe to the LLC and actually own ownership of the movie, uh, which is great because let's say we make a half a million dollar movie and we get $250,000 worth of donations. That means the investors basically get $250,000 worth of free money that we don't have to return to those people because they were donations. So what that allows us to do is uh, make more money for the investors. That's what, and then you get more investors, and you know it, that's how it goes around. That's the business side of it. So, how do you um, keep everything under control, Michael? Oh, I'll tell you. I I never sleep, and we're just constantly making movies. Um, if we're not making the movies, we're raising the money for them, or we're looking for the scripts. But we stay immensely busy. Like when COVID hit, uh, we've already made two movies in that time, and we've already raised like. Nine hundred thousand dollars to make those two movies, and now we're making a third one. So, so nothing will stop you. Nothing will stop us. Nothing, not even COVID, will stop us. That's amazing, and he's got so much strength. But then also, the the award is 
something like tonight when everybody comes, oh, the movie is finished, and now you get to watch you know, it with making, all of them. Making a movie is a, a lot of hard work, and it takes a, a whole team to make a movie. And we might start the movie, we might raise all the money, but it's our team that actually helps make it for us and take, takes it all the way. So it's a team effort, and we appreciate everybody that works on the movies. Well, on all that, we can't say he doesn't have anything to say because he has plenty to say, but that's what a movie maker has. On that, we're down here at the Galaxy, um, and the movie will be amazing. You're going to go in yeah. and watch it right now yes, with the whole yes. crew and everybody. So he's going to be my last person to thank interview. Thank you guys so much, and, um, and thank you for covering this event. Absolutely, thank you. Well, this was just absolutely amazing. Um, this movie, um, Attack of the Unknown, um, it's very appropriate for right now, and of course we're down here at the Galaxy Theatre in Las Vegas. This is where they have all their premieres. And uh, so over and out, interviewed them all, had a great time. I hope you enjoyed it. We did. Take care.